Hey everyone, welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I make content about crimes that have happened in Washington State, along with lots of other themes. So welcome to the chaos. I have a couple of updates to talk about today, so without further ado, let's get into it. You don't scare me, but you should feel me. The sun is setting, don't trust your hearing. Earlier in the year, I made a video about the Sofia Juarez case. A quick recap for anyone who isn't familiar, Sofia went missing when she was just four years old, the day before she was to turn five, from Kennewick, Washington. Sofia left her house quickly the evening of February 4th, 2003, trying to catch up to her grandmother's boyfriend who was heading to a local corner store. She has not been seen since. In April of 2021, a TikTok on the Mexican creator Agai Yaya's page went viral featuring a woman who very closely resembled Sofia. The woman, who seemed to be homeless, had said in an interview by the channel creator that she had been kidnapped and did not know where she was from, and also said she was around the same age Sofia would have been at the time. The Kennewick Police Department was sent this TikTok and the videos featured on the creator's YouTube channel as well. They received these videos in the hundreds and reached out to one of the creators from the channel to try and get in contact with the woman. After a lot of unnecessary back and forth between the Mexican law enforcement and the Kennewick Police Department, even getting the FBI involved, a DNA test was finally done on the woman from the video, and unfortunately it has been confirmed that the woman was not Sofia Juarez. However, Sofia's family has not given up hope that she is out there somewhere. A $10,000 reward has been offered for information that may help with the discovery of Sofia Juarez's whereabouts, donated by an anonymous Kennewick couple. If you'd like to watch the full video covering Sofia's disappearance, a link will be in the description below as well as up in the eye on screen. If you have any information on this case, please reach out to authorities at 509-628-0333 or you can go to the link in the description to submit an anonymous tip. In August of 2021, Jennifer Caridad went missing from Sunnyside, Washington after she told her family she was going to pick up her boyfriend from his grandmother's house in Mabton. The next day, her boyfriend would go on a multiple-day crime spree, starting in Jennifer's van, carjacking and threatening multiple people with a gun, and even shooting a Yakima man who was fishing with his family. Jennifer's van was later found around Berglund Lake in Yakima, Washington, with a large amount of blood in the back of the van. Aurelio Escobar was finally arrested a few days later in Medford, Oregon, after a police chase and a shootout where he was injured and hospitalized before finally being detained. He has continually evaded questioning about Jennifer's disappearance. Jennifer has not been seen since August 8, 2021. Unfortunately, on May 24, 2022, nine months after she was last seen, some of Jennifer's remains were found in Granger, Washington. A farmer was working in a field off of Status Longhouse Road in Granger, Washington when he came across a human skull and called the Yakima Police Department. There is a canal bridge along that particular road, so it's very likely Jennifer's body was dumped in the area from there. Police say they are most likely going to search the area, but as of the time of recording, that has not happened yet. Her death has officially been ruled as a homicide. Jennifer's family and members of the community have held multiple searches of the area and the search for the remains of Jennifer Caridad continues. Jennifer is survived by her mother, Ruby Vargas, and her father, Enrique Caridad, her brother, Luis, and other family members, and her best friend, Gloria. She is very, truly missed. If you would like to donate to the family, her GoFundMe page will be linked in the description below. If you're local and are able to help in the search for Jennifer's remains, there will also be a link to the Justice for Jennifer Caridad Facebook group where you can get information on search parties being organized. That is all the updates I have for you today, but as always, I will make sure to update if there's any more news about either of these cases. Like and subscribe if you want more videos like this, and follow me on Twitter if you want. Links are also in the description for sources I used for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but please remember to keep the comments respectful as the family members of these women may be watching. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.